Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, She's French, and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please, please, please consider subscribing. So today's video is super exciting. It's actually nighttime when I'm filming this because I've been working on this like for two days straight, but it's such a good one. I'm going to show you guys how to make these, which are so crazy. They're reusable, like gem makeup, body art. You could do anything with this technique, which is so cool. You could apply them all over. You could do any design you want. So I'm super excited. I'm not very good at like intricate eyeliner, things like that. So this creates it for you. It's kind of foolproof and just like, wow. And the fact that it's reusable. So I saw something like this on Reels on Instagram. She did like very long, like gem ones like this. And I was like, oh my God, I want to recreate this. I feel like I can do like something a little bit more subtle so I created these but like I said you could do absolutely anything I'll leave the credit to the original video that I saw in the description box too I'm also going to include all the supplies I got with the link to everything I pretty much got everything on Amazon it was really easy and actually very cost efficient too this was about I want to say about $15 so really really good and I have so much left over I could make like a million of these totally forgot to mention this but I wanted to touch on it I'm gonna make a prediction for the fashion world I think that futuristic fashion is gonna be really in we're gonna start seeing a lot of different things like this so I'm gonna predict it we'll see if it comes true but that's where I think fashion is heading right now Okay, so I'm going to show you some little cute aesthetic shots. This is so much fun. So let's do the little clips. Okay, I felt really silly filming those, but hopefully you enjoyed those and got like the little vibe. Let's go through the supplies. Like I said, this was very affordable. You can get everything on Amazon. If you have Prime, you'll get them in like two days. It was super fun to do. I haven't done a craft project in forever. And honestly, I'm very, very much a perfectionist. So typically when I do DIY, I don't like how it turns out, but this, no words. I'm like in shock that I did this. So let me show you what you need. You will need a little embroidery hoop. It doesn't have to be very big unless you wanna do something huge, but this is a pretty good size for anything on the face. You could do something on the body. This is really good. You will then need some tool. And for this to work better, you wanna get something that is close to your skin tone. This is not obviously a perfect match, but close enough. You're going to keep some of the tool in the actual design so that you can peel it or reuse it. So just be mindful of that, that it would be a little bit visible if it's not the right color. But I also got this on Amazon. I think it was $2. Tool comes in millions of colors, so I don't think you'll struggle to find something that matches you. And then the most important are the little gems. I got this little set on Amazon too. Like I said, everything is on Amazon and I'm so sorry, I got glue all over the little pokey thing that it came with. Um, but I got some that were like white, but you could get some that are like AB so they reflect the color. You can get colorful ones. Like I said, like this is opening up so many endless options. So you're gonna have a lot of fun. And then you'll need some scissors and maybe like a little scalpel or razor blade, just so that you can get like a pretty good cut around them so you don't have too much extra mesh. And then the last thing you will need is some eyelash glue. This is the duo, the pretty like st standard eyelash glue. Um, I wanted this to be skin safe, so I made sure that when thinking about what glue to use, because I kind of had to decipher the video to see how to recreate this. So this is my take on it. Um, but I was wondering what glue was used because obviously you're going to use this on your skin. I don't want to cause a reaction. Lash glue works really well. You can use it to stick the gems onto the mesh or the tool, but then you will also use the lash glue to put it on your face, kind of like strip lashes. 
And then for the application, it's super easy. I didn't do a video or like a, I didn't do a clip of me putting these on, but literally you just dab a couple dots and then just pow. <laughs> it's kind of like putting on lashes, but I would say much easier. And if you do it well on the eye and you don't um, get them too deep in your crease, you really won't feel like they're on. It's going to be much more comfortable than wearing lashes. So Anyway, that was a lot of talking. Let's get into the clips of me making these. I'm gonna do a little voiceover, kind of talking about the process. And yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this, so let's go. Okay, so let's get started with the voiceover. This is going to be so satisfying, by the way. I was re-watching these clips and I was in shock at how like, wow. But anyway, the first thing that I did was I found some images online that I thought would look good on the eyes. When I saw the flames, I pictured them not being fully closed up and only doing a portion of them, leaving room for my eye shape. Just consider that if you're doing a design like that. I then, and this is the very official way to do this, I held up a ruler to my face and then I went, hmm about two inches looks right <laughs> so then i put the images on canva dragged them to about two inches printed them out and then stuck some masking tape in front of them so that i could um, do my design with the mesh on top of it and i wouldn't have any risk of the ink spilling you can see on the side there's a moon that kind of ran and that's because the ink started to get picked up by the glue it was making a big mess and then the mesh was starting to turn black from the ink so i would advise leaving some sort of layer i tried plastic but plastic was just too slidey masking tape was perfect and then the next thing to do will be to grab your mesh, put it inside of the embroidery hoop, make sure that it's tight, cut off that little section, and then you'll be able to just place it down. You can definitely tape it down with some more tape so that it doesn't move while you're working. And then you're ready to start sticking the little gems on top of the mesh. So here you can see that I already finished one. What I did for that was I ended up flipping the paper over because you don't want the flames, if you're doing a design like that, you want them to match on each eye so they need to be flipped. So I just flipped the paper and then did the same design again. Um, and then you'll just see me apply the glue and then drop some little gems, apply a little bit more glue, drop a couple more gems. It's pretty self-explanatory. This took a little while, but once you get the hang of your gems, it gets very simple. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. You can see that I started to do a little bit better. Um, ideally, you would have that little stick that picks up the gems and drops them because that makes a huge difference. And then the beauty of using lash glue for this is that it stays pretty tacky, so it gives you a little bit of time to reposition your gems. If you drop them, want to move them around, super easy to do and then um, it will remain tacky you'll have to let it dry overnight what i did was i did all of this like that by putting the glue down dropping the gems but then i actually took the glue and ran it along the whole design when i was done it dries clear so it just made sure that they stuck to each other as well as the mesh once you're done with your design you'll then just peel it off of the paper you can see here i'm peeling it it's a little bit sticky but if you put enough glue it will actually have stuck to the mesh which is what you want you can actually cut it out right away if you're feeling brave or you can let it dry overnight and then cut around it you can see the design is on the mesh it looks so good it's so shiny and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once it's cut out, you'll be able to stick it on with lash glue and then peel it off and reuse it again later. All right, so I'm back. Hopefully you enjoyed that and found it helpful. I would love to see if you guys create any of these. Please, please, please tag me. Please let me know. Let me know where you would wear these. I feel like these are super wearable, but I mean, I have pink hair it's a little bit out there but you guys know that i dress very simple and like minimal you guys know my minimalist closet so i think that this is a little bit of fun but it could really work for anybody so let me know if you create anything thank you so much for watching please subscribe and i will catch you in the next one bye guys Whoa.